Well, hey, I'd like to introduce uh, one of the newest uh, uh, guests here at the Apocalyptic Ashram, Hawks Haven. I was at a yard sale, and you know, people want to sell their stuff, and so um, you know, they need money, and they don't want the things, and you know, things like this. I use as like a little um, thing to remind people to play a little bit sometimes, right? So, like you know, that if you really pay attention when you when you come for a visit here. You're going to see <clears throat> little things in the landscape. And anyway, so this this little guy, I think he was 50 cents at a yard sale. But um, I don't know, he's about probably six six or seven inches tall. And um, yeah, anyway, he's missing an arm. That's probably why he was only 50 cents at the yard sale. Because, you know, the person who ever bought this, uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if it's like a G.I. Joe guy or a, I don't know, he looks more like he's in knight's armor or something. But anyway, this is the apocalypse, right? And this <laughs> the apocalypse are all the castaway things, the unwanted things. And then I, I was looking around a little bit and I found this other this little wrench here that really I don't give I don't really care about much. But I figured I'm like, you know what? This old this wrench that nobody nobody wants and this guy right here if I if I if I take and I go get a, a drill and I just go ahead and hopefully I don't hurt myself right now in front of the camera that'd be embarrassing um, all right so we're gonna flatten that off just a, a little bit before we do the <clears throat> great thing about having like a, a toolbox right there because you just you just grab a file, right? And so I mean, this is only gonna take us a few minutes to do this. It's taking me longer to do this just because I'm trying to make a video about it. But um, so what we can do though is we can turn turn trash into like a, you know what we're gonna drill that from the back side and. Never drill towards yourself, always drill towards someone else. And since I'm the only one here right now, that's what happens. So what we're doing is we're just giving him an artificial limb. Uh, and this is the surgery necessary to accomplish that. You can tell that he's a warrior because, you know, he's not even crying. A lot of people, they cry about a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Just, so we're, make, we're making sure that this is going to uh, thread right through his, his uh, arm here. And this is just going to be a great way to attach. Oh, and here are more tools. All right, this is just a cool little tool that lets you use your tools in lots of different ways. Yeah. You know. All right, so that looks like that's going to work pretty good, like that. So. And if I found the cool little driver, I would have just been able to put it right there on the drill. But here in the apocalypse, sometimes things are spread out really far away. You have to rely on what you have right here and right now. And so we do that. And I turn. Let's see. Is it going to look better? Like. Bending in. It's going to be better bending in. Or bending out. I think we're going with the in. Alright, just like that. Sorry. It's not that I don't care what you say. It's just that you... <laughs> I really don't care. Um... Because if you want to create your art, you're going to do it just the way you want to. And that's the way you should do it. Because it doesn't really matter 
what somebody somewhere else is saying as long as you enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so we get that started through there. Break out our cool tool again. And I'm thinking, yeah, about like that. <clears throat> no. Yeah. All right, all right, so here he is. Here's our new little apocalyptic uh, warrior that's going to be stationed somewhere here at the apocalyptic ashram Hawks Haven. <clears throat> this place is an experience of polarities. You're going to experience a natural way of learning how to navigate your right now moment um but it, but it's also going to look like there have been people playing on this landscape and when we turn trash into treasure i i call it play you know i mean it's kind of a cool little um it's fun right i mean what why why not play in our life and so I, I've taken that to a whole nother level. And or, let's look at this guy because um, <laughs> I've taken it to a whole nother level because we've introduced play yoga into our day to day lives. And we recognize how we can be engaging our muscles to strengthen our bodies and uh, balance to create stability and awareness of how you have the ability of creating new things in your life right now and if every right now moment if you can be aware of it you're going to spend as many of them as you can doing the things that you want to see happen in the world right because that's how that happens every time we engage in this world around us we um we change it right we change it in in, in a good way or a bad way right so I'm, I'm taking two things that nobody wanted and i'm gonna go hide this somewhere on the property where it's gonna look like he's uh out wandering around looking looking for some food, looking for a mission. Yeah, he's like, look, I have tools, we'll travel. Um, you know, and there's a whole lot of people that traveling is something they, that they haven't done yet in their lives. And they haven't explored many options of what life has to offer. And so they're kind of living in a limited, uh, a limited awareness zone right but once you've traveled in uh you know visiting different countries and different parts of different countries right um you start to you start to realize that there's a lot of different ways that we can be living life that might be better than what we're doing right now so anyway here's the newest warrior here at the apocalypse um, if you schedule a tour and you can find him you can have him or you can create some and, and bring them 
and, and introduce them into the landscape. If it's not something that you want to, you want to do at your house, um, I'm, I'm welcome to artists and stuff coming here and helping to, to make this a, a truly unique experience. You know, I've had, I've had a review. Um, she said, wow, this is like Alice in Wonderland meets Willy Wonka guided by the mad monk. So it's where we build warriors, not warriors.